Fellow Lions, Dr. V here for our week seven of pandemic remote learning. Today is Friday, May 1st. Yes, first day in May. But we do have some good news. Uh, the governor two days ago uh, began his opening the state plan, and that will begin tomorrow, May 2nd, with opening the state parks. So that's a good sign. Uh, he will also, again, let us know by May 15th, if not a couple of days earlier, um, the future plan for the schools to reopen. We're sending out the good vibes to get the schools reopened. And as a reminder, we do have plans in place, uh, hopefully for the reopening. But if not, if we're going to be closed for the rest of the year, we have virtual plans in place. And what we're really hoping for is a hybrid situation uh, where we can bring in groups of people and parents uh, to do the different ceremonies, film it, edit it, and make it seamless to look like one production. But we're going to keep the faith, and we're going to hope that school's going to reopen and things will go on regular. If not, though, we do have plans in place. Also, reminder, Mr. Gorman will be in touch with the senior parents regarding the senior trip. He has spoke to World Class Vacations. Uh, he will give you detail, but the synopsis of that meeting is World Class is going to cancel uh, the scheduled June, I believe it was 5th, trip. So all students and parents will get every dime back for the trip. And the reason that they're moving towards that is because once Disney opens, uh, World Class is extremely confident that we will immediately have an open slot to take one of our alternate dates, whether it be in late June, early July, or possibly even August. And then this way, everyone will retain their money and we still will be able to schedule our senior trip. So the senior trip is not out the door. We still have it ready to go. It's just a matter of semantics and making sure no one loses any money that we're gonna cancel the June trip, uh, the first June date trip, and then reschedule once the park officially reopens. I did see that Disney sent out guidelines for its plan to begin to reopen slowly but surely. So we will stay on top of that. Also, uh, we have revised our grading policies for the remainder of the school year. Uh, not going to change that much, but um, there will be no final exams. Uh, for the 2019-2020 uh, school year due to the pandemic. We will be conducting Benchmark C, however, uh, probably first week in June, but there will not be final exams. Mr. Gorman and your teachers will give you details um, regarding the new grading uh, tweaks, if you will, uh, for the remainder of the school year. Okay. With that said, let's get to our PSA and let's get to our shout outs and key points for the upcoming week here in Lions Nation. We will do uh, lunch distribution May 4th through uh, uh, from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Please remember to bring your ID and please remember to open your trunk for proper social distancing. Please continue to visit the COVID-19 web tab as there will be details regarding the grading policy, the senior trip, any athletic updates, uh, and any other pertinent information that we get from the governor or that we do as far as the district is concerned. Our computer technicians remain available five days a week, Mondays 12 to 1, Fridays 11 to 12, and Tuesday through Thursday 3 to 4 p.m. Email our IT staff first so they can try and help you out remotely, but if not, we are always there for you. Big day today. May 1st starts our Lions Staff Appreciation Week. That's right. Teacher Appreciation Week, but it is Lions Staff. We appreciate all our staff, our teachers, our powers, cafeteria workers, maintenance workers, secretaries, assistants, security, you name it. So we are starting today, May 1st, Lions Staff Appreciation Week. And we do have a little presentation from the board and the administrators in appreciation of our tremendous staff later on in the PSA. Okay, let's get to some shout outs and let's start out with that terrific CSS remote morning news team. Our new team for this week, this past week, Joe Schilly did an outstanding job during the morning news this week. Quinn Ritchie made a return appearance doing outstanding work for our CSS Morning News. 
Gianna Kaufman was terrific all week with her morning anchor news updates. And Ali Torres did a tremendous job um, helping out each and every day with the morning news. And we also had a return visit from Dominic Tavares. Awesome, awesome work by our CSS remote morning news team. Guys are fantastic. The future is bright for news. Our special guest flag saluters for this week. Last Friday was Jamison and Bennett Dark did an outstanding job. Leola and Mrs. Pennington led off this week on Monday, and Mrs. Pennington's daughter, Leola, signed the entire pledge during the filming of that uh, flag salute. Outstanding work by Leola and Mrs. Pennington. The signing was tremendous. We had Brooklyn and Braden Ulmer on Tuesday, Braylon Marshall on Wednesday, and Jeffrey and Jacob Gettings on Thursday. Once again, the Friday flag salute will be on next week's PSA due to timing and filming for this for each Friday's PSA. Remember to check out our morning news team, both CSS, the middle school and the high school on the links that will be sent to you later on today uh, in your email blast. And speaking of the GMS Remote Morning News team, our students filled in this week and did a great job. They bumped out Mrs. Holstrom, um, and they took over and did an outstanding job. Danielle Hanel, phenomenal job this week. Elizabeth Schultzies, great job this week. And Olivia Carpenter, these three young ladies did phenomenal work all week. And again, don't forget to check them out on the links being blasted out in the email blast this afternoon. Now some special line shout outs. First and foremost, this is an apology, an official apology from Dr. V. Last week we gave Jacob Spots a shout out for doing great work with his ear relief bands. And here comes my mistake and apology. I, I mistakenly uh, gave a shout out to Jacob's uncle, Sean Spots, saying it was Jacob's dad. But Jacob's dad is Jeff Spots, and I apologize, Mr. Spots, and I also apologize to Jacob and his mom. So a special, special shout out to not only Jacob again for his great work, but his dad, Jeff, for helping Jacob and guiding him to get these bands out to our, our warriors and heroes, doctors and nurses. So once again, I apologize for last week's fumble with the 10. Some other shout outs, great work. First and foremost, the middle school has a new mascot. Just came in this past week, Leon the Lion Jr. And they'll be sporting that mascot very soon, as soon as our Lions come back to the pride. But Leon the Lion Jr. is at the middle school now, looking good. Mrs. King, our middle school art teacher, doing phenomenal, phenomenal work sewing masks for our friends and families. Just tremendous, tremendous work by Mrs. King, our middle school art teacher. Also, some middle school shout outs. Natalia Lannis Colin doing great work for her sewing, um, making masks uh, for her friends and family. And not to be outdone at the middle school, we got Kiara Renshaw using her talents to not only make the masks, but also a, a shout out to our healthcare warriors and heroes, thanking them for all they do. Great job for the middle school students, representing proud for Lions Nation. And that's right, as I stated earlier, this is Lions Staff Appreciation Week. And we here at the Lions Den can't thank our staff enough. This is a great aerial shot of last year at Cold Springs when we did the Eagles shout out. That's all our staff and students spelling out Eagles. And what better way to kick off a little appreciation presentation to our wonderful Lions staff from not only myself, but all our administration and the Board of Education. We cannot thank you enough. You guys are absolutely the best.
tough times in their lives For that we say thank you You have made a difference You have shaped our minds You have changed the world One child at a time You have always been there In everything you do I hope that you're as proud of me silent cries who stepped in to wipe the tears from the children's eyes for those who gave us a safe place to grow a place for us to call our home forever we will know that you have made a difference you have shaped our minds you have changed the world one child at right from wrong you taught us much more than their craft to help our minds grow strong this song is for those who guide us through and through so that we can make a life for that we say thank you you have made a difference you have shaped our minds you have changed the world one child at a time All my life into the path within my reach. I hope I can change a life of those that I teach. I can make a difference. All I do is try to try to see a different world through the children's eyes. And I will always be there in everything I do. I hope that you're. Everything I do, I hope that you're as proud of me as I am proud of you.